Join Kids Hat Family. Tia, I can't believe I lost my lucky charm. I've had it for years and now it's gone. Oh no, Tofu. Don't worry. Sometimes things like this happen for a reason. What do you mean? Well, sometimes we lose something important because it's time for us to let it go and move on to bigger and better things. But how am I supposed to move on without my lucky charm? Well, I have a story that might help. It's a story about a young prince who, like you, had lost something very dear to him. What did he lose? He lost his magic amulet, a gift from his late mother. The amulet had the power to grant him any wish he desired. Wow, that sounds amazing. What happened to the prince? The prince and his magical amulet. Well, the prince was heartbroken when he realized the amulet was gone. He searched high and low, but he could not find it. He began to lose hope and he became depressed and withdrawn. But one day, while walking through the forest, the prince came across a wise old owl. Hello, young prince. Why do you look so sad? Oh, wise owl. I have lost my magic amulet and I do not know how I will ever be happy again. Do not despair, young prince, for the amulet was not the source of your happiness. It was your own kindness, compassion and pure heart that truly made you happy. But how can I be happy without the amulet? The amulet may have granted your wishes, but it was your own actions that brought joy to others. You can continue to spread happiness and kindness even without the amulet. The prince thought about the owl's words and realized he was right. He had always found joy in helping others and he realized that he did not need the amulet to do so. So the prince set off on a journey to spread love and kindness throughout the kingdom. And as he travelled, he found that he was happier than he had ever been before. As he travelled, he encountered many people and animals in need of help. And with each kind act, the prince's heart grew fuller and happier. He helped an old man carry his heavy bags across the river. He saved a group of kittens from a burning barn. And he even taught a group of lost children how to find their way home. As the prince's reputation for kindness and compassion spread throughout the kingdom, more and more people and animals came to him for help. And the prince, with the help of his friends, was always there to lend a helping hand. But as much as the prince enjoyed helping others, he also missed his magic amulet. He often thought about where it might be and who might have it. One day, as the prince was walking through the forest, he heard a faint voice calling out to him. Prince, prince, can you hear me? The prince followed the voice until he came upon a small enchanted pond. And there, floating on the surface, was his magic amulet. Prince, I am so glad you found me. I have been waiting for you. Amulet, is it really you? I can't believe it. Yes, it is me, your magic amulet. I have been lost for so long, but I knew you would find me. How did you get here? A group of mischievous sprites found me and played a trick on me. They hid me in this enchanted pond. But now that you have found me, I can return to you and grant your wishes once again. Amulet, I don't need you to grant any of my wishes anymore. I have learned that happiness comes from within and I can spread joy and kindness to others without the use of magic. Oh Prince, 
You have truly grown and learnt the value of compassion. You no longer need me to grant your wishes, for you have the power to make your own happiness. Thank you, Amulet. I will always cherish you, but I think it's time for you to return to the gods. They are the ones who truly possess the power of magic. Very well, Prince. I will return to the gods, but know that I will always be with you in spirit, guiding and protecting you. The prince thanked the amulet and sent it back to the gods. And as he continued his journey, he knew that he had the power to make his own happiness and the happiness of those around him. Wow, Tia, this was a really good story. I'm glad you liked it, Tofu. The moral of the story is that happiness comes from within and we can all spread joy and kindness to others no matter what we have or don't have. I see what you mean, Tia. I think I can be happy even without my lucky charm. I am sure you can, Tofu. You have a kind and pure heart just like the prince. Thank you for telling me such a beautiful story, Tia. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.